180 USF senior medical students learned where they will be spending their residencies following graduation in May. And that's 180 future doctors gra graduating in our own backyard and that health experts hope will help ease the nation's shortage of physicians. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers joins us now live in Tampa. Nicole, this is truly an emotional ceremony and these people are needed. It is because what is inside that envelope is telling all these future doctors where they will be spending the next three to seven years of their lives as they prepare to enter a medical field in great need of physicians. The suspense as students hear their name. Jason Eats. Walk up to the stage. Imagine general surgery. Fumble to open their envelope out of pure angst and excitement. Happy medical center. And the crowd erupts. What's inside that envelope? A letter telling each USF senior medical student where they will be spending their residencies following graduation in May. It's just like uh, riding a roller coaster and getting getting to the top, you know, so super exciting, kind of scary, but fun. <laughs> For Monica Stevens, it's a residency that will land her back home in Maine. We're going home. Yes, my whole family's in Maine, and so we're super excited to be going back home. Stevens hugged her four-year-old son, Lex, knowing over the next few years she will be receiving specialized postgraduate training in general surgery. And she isn't alone. 179 other future doctors graduating from USF in May found out where they got matched. Many of which are staying right here in Florida. This comes at a time when medical experts are projecting a shortfall of nearly 18,000 physicians by 2035 here in the Sunshine State. Something USF Educational Affairs Vice Dean Brian Bogner says grows day by day as more people move here. Uh, many of which are uh, over the age of 65 and require a lot of health care. So that shortage uh, is growing and we're hoping to meet this demand with these students that are graduating. But and each of those students preparing for graduation have spent years preparing for this. And Josh, it surely is not easy. I can imagine. So, Nicole, did Monica tell you what made her go through all the hard work to become a surgeon in the first place? She did, and that's actually the heart-wrenching part of this story is she actually got into this because of her cousin who unfortunately unexpectedly lost his life but was an organ donor. And her going through that process and seeing how it saves lives is what made her want to be a surgeon. Yeah, I can imagine. That's very powerful. Very cool day for them, though. Nicole Rogers, live for us. Thanks so much in Tampa.